Hey guys, welcome back to another video. James at JC Bricks and Builds here, and we are doing another review video. And this time it's the review of the Star Clock Tower Square Modular Building. It's set number 89103, 7,188 pieces. This is a massive set. It is one word that well, a couple of words that I can actually sort of describe this you know I built this on a live stream and this took uh five parts uh, I think I've done five parts of live streaming on this and yeah all in all this is just it's just I, I'm lost for words for this really um now the instructions are really good they're really great colored instructions you come out with everything telling you with individual colors and everything like that there are the problem that i do see about this though is that there are parts i think it's this one of the ones here you've got like a light blue color and then you've got a light gray color now when you see the key and you see the colors here they are very close to each other that is one problem that i have with this so just be careful make sure you've got the right lighting with this and you know you, you've got this you can build this quite easily i had a few difficulties with it on on the live stream as well i had a few problems so i did a couple of stuff off live stream or a couple of bags off live stream just to catch up and then sort of carried on in total there are 23 bags um, so when you get to, if I just get to the page itself, so when you get to page or bag number 23, it's just mainly doing the last, last pieces, like you're building the car, you got a scooter, you got a bench, tree, lamppost, and a load of minifigures as well. The minifigures are really good, so we'll get to them in a minute, but as you know, modular buildings all comes into individual sections that you can just pull off and things like that um but in total there's like four was it 400 442 stages with a total of 113 pages and then you got like a little back picture there of what it looks like when it's finished but we will get that into in a second and then on the back here you've then got another set that they've done and then you get like a little classic car as well. So there's the number that you that for it as well if you're after. But obviously you got 100 and then you got 103, which is the, the clock tower. So I would imagine 101 and 102 will be released at some point. Unless um, it's one of the sets I've already got. I, I would imagine that 101 or 102 would possibly be the train station which is already in my city at the moment but yeah this is a great set you know seven and a half thousand pieces nearly a great little set but let's get to the little mini figures we've got all these mini figures here i've just placed them onto the um little base plate here the, this base plate i will get to this in a sec so we've got um we've got 11 mini figures and then we've got a dog as well all these minifigures are very, very good printing. So you can see the front and then you've got the back on each minifig as well. There's no printing on the back of each of the minifigs. But when you build these up, everything is apart. So you've got the torso and the head together. But then you've got to build the leg structures up. And then you've got to put the arms in and then put the hands in. But there's no problem there. Some of them can be a bit tough to put in. But apart from that, it's it's fairly cool. Um, the next little accessory you get is like this little ice cream cart thing as well. Fairly little simple build. With a couple of ice creams on the back there. And then you've got some sort of like ice cream toppers there as well. And yeah, I mean, nice little build there. So you can put something on the on the end there clip it and then you can pull it along so yeah um next thing was a little tree a bit of a little tree nice and simple sort of um building up with snot bricks and little radiator grill pieces and then cone pieces as well 
So, yep, that's a nice little build there. And then we get to the little car. Doors do open on this. Really fancy little look, little car. Classic little car, this is. Um, so this will go into the city at some point. And, yeah, fins look a bit too big for it. But, you know, it's just a generic Lego car. What, what more can you say? So it just rolls, rolls along fairly easy. The next thing we got with that, with the accessories, was a little scooter. Nothing much to say, you know. Place a little part, a couple of parts on there, and and on the front as well. And then that's your little car, or your little bike. Sorry, but then what you could do is, if I get this little girl, this this minifig here, you can then slide. You can still stand up on top of like that. So yeah, we got that. And then we got a couple of cats as well. Now this cat was supposed to be inside one of the buildings as well, but it kept falling out for some reason, so I've just placed it on the bench. We've got the bench, nice little simple build as well. And then we've got a little white cat. We've got some sort of special ornate design as well on that. So get into the main main section or main attraction of this build is the whole clock tower itself. So what I will do is I'll take all the floors off and then we'll go floor by floor. If I can do this one by one. So, so on this side here, we've got what you would call like an ice cream parlor or ice cream shop. The little freezer section inside. It's got some selections of ice creams in there as well. Um, it kept it nice, it's quite simple on this. Got some a shelf with like cups, glasses, and ice cream cones, and things like that, and like some shakers. And then we've got the stairs leading round up to the next floor. And then on the corner there, we've well, there's no corner there, nothing in the corner, but just standard bricks. A uh, glass door as well, uh, which is fairly fairly loose, but not a problem at all. Um, so that's that. That's the first level done on that one. And then the second floor, which is placed on top, is some sort of like restaurant type thing or something like that. Now in here, there was supposed to be like a little flower or something, but it kept falling out and I've just put that somewhere where I can't remember where it is at the moment. But yeah, we'll, we'll get to that one at some point. In here, we have like a little picture as well of the sunset. There is supposed to be another piece there or another one of these lamps, but there was a, a Technic pin that was missing, a half Technic pin. So I've got to find a Technic pin and place that inside and then put that on top as well. So yeah, that's, that's that floor. And then move on to the next. Something's just fallen out. If we move that over. We've then got the next floor, which is the bedroom and office area. Um, little toilet section. And obviously you've got the door there as well. So you've got a little office there, desk and a chair, a little bed, nothing more to say. Some sort of um, bedside table as well. Like I said, there's nothing much more to say. And then we've got the roof section that just goes on the top here as well. Now, on the inside, you can see a little treasure chest. I'm not too sure on why they put a treasure chest in there because there's not much room. But also, as well, there's a like a ladder or a hole for a ladder as well. There's no ladder there, unfortunately. So what I will have to do is make up a ladder myself and place that in there. So, so yeah, that is that floor done. Um, we will then move on to this floor, I think, because then I can leave the center till last. If I can move the floors out. Now this floor, these, this sec this side of the floor is the best one so far, the best of the whole building, I think. Um, reason being is because if you look closely, we've got a Lego dragon. Now this is the Lego dragon for one of the Lego shops in, 
I, I can't remember where it is. But, you know, whoever made this as a mock did a really great, great representation of doing this as well. So we've got, we've then got the another kitty cat there and we've got a, shell, uh, a counter with bits there. And then we've got some decorations on the walls, nice blue, light blue and dark blue tiling on the floor. And then we've got the stairs leading up which would then be leading us onto the next floor here. So this is the next floor. And as you can tell, this is an actual Lego shop. Now I have plans for this. Um, this is all shelves for Lego sets as well, but there's no printing on these. Now I have made some orders uh, in the past where I've got some sets that are printed onto the tiles so what I'll do is take a couple of these off and then put a 2x2 two two uh, plate behind and then put that printed tile on the front so it looks as though there's more than one of a certain item in stock or something like that we then got a um, centerpiece which is obviously for a minifig build or something like that quite a simple little build little bricks and plates in there and place that back into there now in the corner and on the side on the ends here on the starting off the corner we've got like a little carousel um if you can just about see the way it is it looks like a carousel we've also got the a turbine which I, which i mean would be the festus or the vestus wind turbine and then we've got a gray ball here which i would imagine correct me if I'm wrong, would be a Death Star or something like that. So obviously they're trying to carry on with the, the Lego ideas, stuff and things like that. And then on this side of the wall, we've got all these bauble type things, the clear cases, and they are representing the, or rep representing the pick a brick wall along with some uh, as you can see, the dark purple and the light purple um, tiles with the other sets on there. So you've got like friend sets as well. So you get a great little idea on that. And then I can't really open this one up for some reason. But we we'll just get hold of this. And then on the inside is another floor there, which then goes into the roof as well. You can just about see which is another um, level to the shop. If I just place that back on there. It's another level to the shop, but for some reason you can't actually get into the floor for some reason. I'm not too sure as to why they have done that, but it might be because of these plate, these, these um, panel pieces, if they call them. So I would imagine if you, if you remove these panel pieces, you could then sort of move this down a little bit more. Right, so we're now moving on. We've moved on from the uh, the main Lego store, and now we've got the main tower, which is the reason why the whole set is called the tower, uh, the tower square. Now these, there is only two sections that come off on this, and if I just take the first section off, there we go. We've got this section here made up with all individual little pieces and golden spire parts as well. There's supposed to be one on the top there, but for some reason that was not in the set and I couldn't find that at all. Um, so yeah, we're missing one at the moment. And then on this floor, if, without taking the, catching the piece, we've then got this, which is pretty much all the way, the same all the way through. Um, which is the top level of the tower and then we go down we've got some gears here as, uh, which then if you try and turn for some reason mine doesn't actually work um, as you can just about see oh, okay it does work now it decides to work on the on the video but for some reason it didn't work on the stream or on the video that I was doing at the time but as you can see you move this little gear here 
So I probably remove, I was probably moving the gear the wrong way around. So if I remove move it clockwise, it will then go anti-clockwise. But I can't I can't turn it anti-clockwise because the gears just don't want to connect with each other, which is a bit random as to why it's doing that. But yeah, nice little piece that is. And then all the way down, we've got a staircase, which we'll get to in a minute. And then we've got like a side side arch piece there, which will then lead into something else for your city as well. This door doesn't open, unfortunately, which I can't actually open up to. Um, I, th I would imagine it does open, but we put placings back onto here like so. As you know, with a modular building, it's quite easy to put them back together. And then the same with the top part of the tower. Right, so if I move this back round, if I move this all the way around, you can then see the back part of the whole set as well. So we've got, that is basically what it looks like from the back. We've got like a door at the back here, the archway following through from the front, as you saw, and then we've got this like sort of open area here. I'm not too sure why this is opened. If it was me, I would have probably carried this level, this wall out a little bit more this way and that way, and then had something underneath the stairs on the inside. But you know, it's the way it's being built. It's not too bad really it's yeah and then the tower as you can see there's a little piece sticking out here if you just pull it slightly it opens up and you've got the tower or the spiral staircase in the tower we've then got a reception area there so I would imagine it's some sort of like museum thing that you can go up to and you can climb up to the top in the, of the tower and then you can look out from the front or something like that. But yeah, that is pretty much it of this whole set really. There we go, it's clipped in now. This is pretty much it, the whole set. Um, like I said, I built this on a live stream. It took... Oh, there we go. So some of the parts do actually fall off quite easily, which I did not mean to do. I can then sort that out in a minute. But um, but yeah, this is the whole set here. I enjoyed building this. It took me a while to do, but it's worth doing over the period of time rather than sort of rushing it, as what people would say. For the money that you pay for this, I would recommend... I would definitely recommend it as well. Oh, and the other thing that I forgot as well, these base plates, there are multiple of them. Now, they are supposed to be in the bottom of these for all of these. They are 16 by 16 plates, not base plates, sorry. Um, now, for my city, there's no point in me having the base plates or the, or the actual plates themselves because they're too high. So what I have done is I put a 16 by 32 on this side and then a 32 by 32 on this side. And that is how... I've done that and that is the size of the base plates that you would need just to build this up. Same sort of size and setup of the assembly square if you've seen that set as well. So yeah, this is where I'm going to leave it now guys. You know, for the price that you pay for this set, you get quite a bit from G Star, G -Star sorry. And yeah, if you like this video then give us a thumbs up. Do apologise about the the bit breaking off there i'll sort that out in a minute if you like this video leave a thumbs up drop us a comment so you let us know what you think and you know if you're not subscribed click the button click the bell you'll be notified when i'm uh, posting up a new video as well i try and post up regularly as possible and if you want to help this channel out you can support by subscribing to my patreon you'll be on seeing all the stuff early access and of what I post up, whether it's Lego or part works or anything like that. So, so yeah, up until the new next video, hope you guys like this one, and I shall catch you later. Bye bye.